Hello, my favorite sixth graders. I hope this video finds you doing well. Today, we are gonna be talking about lesson 15. These are equal groups stories, equal groups stories. If you're following along at home, we're gonna be on page 68. And we're gonna talk about these. Again, math is all about patterns. So guys, get out your notebook. I wanna make sure you're writing this down, but this pattern is gonna be number, let me use the little number in each group times number of groups is the total. Write that down, write that down. And guys, uh, for math or for multiplication problems and division, uh, often what you'll see is that uh, if you see the word each, that's usually an indication, each, okay? So I'm gonna try and straighten this out. There we go. All right, all right, so we're gonna do each. All right, so let, I just wanna see how many times I can say all right. Mm. The example number one, at Russell Middle School, there were 300 or 232 seventh grade students in eight classrooms. If there were the same number of students in each classroom, how many students would be in each seventh grade classroom? So there were 300 or 232. Again, we're gonna, I'm gonna write this back up here. Number in each group times number of groups, number of groups equals our total. So the number of each, okay, so there were 232 seventh grade, that's our total, 232 seventh grade students. Um, in the same number of class, in eight classrooms, so there were eight groups, right? Eight groups. Uh, hopefully that helps a little bit with that shadow. Um, so, okay. Uh, there were eight classrooms, and then we don't know how many students were in each, so I'm going to use E for number of students in the classroom. I don't want to use the S for students because S's often look like fives. All right, if we multiply in this direction, we can divide in that direction. 232 divided by 8 equals E, okay? Let's do some side work over here. 8 and 232. 8 goes into two, 23 two times, which gives us 16. Subtract that, we get 7. When we subtract, we bring down. 8 times 9 gives us 72 with no remainders. So guys, this is a word problem, and I want you to write a sentence for your word problems. So there, if we look at E, right, E represented the number in each group. There were 29 students in each group. 29 students in each group or in each classroom. That was a terrible you. Um, in each classroom, okay? All right, so let's look at our next example. I got my fan on and it keeps blowing my page shut. All right, so, um, oh, that was it. So guys, uh, I want you to do, turn to page 69 and there are practice A and B at the top of the page there. I want you to practice those, keeping in mind number of groups times number in each group equals our total, okay? All right, so practice A and B, and then when, once you've got those, come on back. All right, so, or pause the video and then come on back. A, uh, Marcy collected $4.50 selling lemonade at 25 cents each cup. How many cups of lemonade did Marcy sell? Uh, it says, hint, record $4.50 as 450 cents. This is a really good point, because for this problem, you need to make sure you're talking about the same things. Are we talking about dollars or are we talking about cents? So she did it for 25 cents. She collected a total of $4.50, or $4 which is 450 cents, right? 450 cents. I'm not gonna use the dollar symbol because I didn't use that, de that decimal. Um, each cup of lemonade, each is usually like indication you wanna use that multiplication. Um, each cup of lemonade is 25 cents. So. Each one is 25 cents. Number of groups or the number of cups of lemonade? I have no idea. I'll use C for cups. C for number of cups. All right, we multiply in this direction, which means we divide in that direction. So our problem is gonna be 450, 450 divided by 25 equals C. So let's do some side work here. 25 goes into 450. All right, 25 goes into uh, 45 one time. 
We subtract and we're left with 20. And when we subtract, we bring down. Think of it like this, 25 is quarters, right? How many quarters do you have in $2? You would have eight. So eight times 25 will give us $2 or 200 cents with no remainders. So we go 18 equals C. A reminder, C equals the number of groups of the number of cups, right? She sold 18 cups of lemonade. Okay, 18 cups of lemonade. Any questions on that? Let me know. Uh, all right, for B, for B, we've got in the store parking lot, there were 18 parking spaces in each row and there were 12 rows of parking spaces. Altogether, how many parking spaces were in the lot? There were 18 parking, parking spaces in each row times, so that's per group, times the number of groups and there were 12 rows equals our total. All right, so I'm gonna do a box method for this one. Remember, you can multiply in whichever method you prefer. 10 and eight is 18, 10 and two is 12. This is one with two zeros. This is eight with a zero, two with a zero, 16. 100, uh, so these guys equal 100, so that's 216. 216, awesome. All right, guys, if you have any questions about that, let me know. Otherwise, uh, those are your, gonna be your multiplication problems. Excellent work.